my friends. At the voice of Jesus, death is losing its sting. What you're going to see now, if you haven't seen it just yet, but I doubt that you haven't seen it, is uh, clearly showing who Jesus is. Have you ever doubted that he is God? <laughs> Maybe. Many of us have been there before. Maybe we will listen to the lies of this world. The world that is trying so many times to steal from us our faith. The world that uh, claims that uh, Jesus uh, didn't even exist. But we know who he is. You're going to see this uh, electrifying, explosive moment from The Chosen, friends. The Chosen, uh, season 4, episode 7. Lazarus, come out. And Lazarus came out. Who can do otherwise when Jesus commands? He is Logos, friends. The Word of God that created everything. Everything that you see and you don't see was created through Jesus. When Jesus says, Lazarus, come out. Lazarus cannot do anything else but come out. Death is defeated, friends. I know now we are uh, shackled in this body, we are shackled in this uh, three-dimensional reality. We think that uh, whatever we see with our eyes, it's, that's it. But there in eternity we will understand, where we will see the very face of our Lord. The Lord that uttered these words, Lazarus, come out! And it was life. Life! An explosion of light, life and love. I can imagine the face of Lazarus, the real Lazarus, when he saw the Lord. When he unwrapped his face from those lion sheets, you know, the Jewish tradition, he had to use that line and around his face. It was the tradition that Jewish people were doing for hundreds and hundreds of years. Lazarus, come out! Friends, I heard his words as well. The Lord mentioned my name as well. And he mentioned your name as well. You are alive because of him. Maybe you've been in that moment of your life in which you were struggling, feeling like you're dying inside. And then you heard this. I don't know your name, but the Lord knows. Whatever your name is, you heard your name on the lips of Jesus. Come out! Come out of that darkness in which you are. Come out of that death that surrounds you, or at least you think it surrounds you. Because you believe your emotions, you believe your feelings. But we believe his words. Lazarus, John, Michael, whatever is your name. If you are still thinking that the death surrounds you, now it's time for you as well to come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out from that darkness and embrace light. Embrace life. Let's take a look at this moment and... Let's remember once again that this is the God that we serve. A God so powerful that death loses its sting. A God so powerful that evil has no power. The devil is running scared. The darkness dissipates in front of this absolutely phenomenal light, more powerful than an atomic bomb. Lazarus come out. And out he was. Let's take a look. Take away the stone. Is it? Is it take away the stone? Was I unclear? Lord, by this time there will be an odor. He's been dead for four days. Martha, surely you know that is a minor matter. Did I not tell you that if you believed, you will see the glory of God? Your only priority in this moment is faith. I say to you again, remove the stone. Oh, 
Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I know that you always hear me. But I said this on account of the people standing around, that they may believe that you sent me. Sent? What are they doing? He already told us last night, you don't remember? He said so that we and many others might believe in him. We already believe in him. Went for everything. Lazarus, come out. Um, 
I know you like to keep me humble, but I am naked underneath these wrappings. <laughs> <laughs> now, friends, what you know, witness there, let's uh, say it loud and clear. It's the biggest miracle in history. There is no other bigger miracle than this. Do you know anyone else that raised to life? <laughs> After three days, someone that was rottening literally in the grave. Do you know anyone else <laughs> that had the power to do this? Do you know anyone else? Have you heard about anyone else? Anyone that by the power of his words, by the power of his commandments, Lazarus came out and Lazarus rose to life. Friends, what you've seen there is the proof. One of the proofs. But for us as Christians, we know that already, that Jesus is God. Not a, a God, like, a, I don't know, we hope our witnesses say, not a smaller God, yeah, like uh, others, like uh, Christian Christ or uh, any other Christian cults, that's the word, to describe them, say. But God, God incarnated that walked the earth with us, that humbled himself so much so we understand for sure that uh, there's a true strength stands in humbleness. True strength stands in carrying your cross every day and following Jesus Lazarus come out <laughs> and the grave couldn't contain Lazarus he came out wrapped in the liner according to the Jewish custom he was smelly that's why <laughs> Jesus waited for three days to show one more time without any doubt how powerful uh, his commandment against death is. There's nothing more strong than the words of Jesus. And uh, this proves once again what you just seen. That's my comments. God bless you all and thank you for listening, for watching. Love you all, friends.